Hello folks, Donnie Gladfelter from The CAD Geek. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at ways to create named layer filters inside of AutoCAD. And so this video actually complements my last video in which we discussed ways to create quick layer filters. Now, as powerful as quick layer filters are, they are indeed just a one-time use type element in the way that if I wanted to filter those same layers over and over again, using quick filters, I'd have to define the filter over and over again. And so to prevent from duplicating that type of work, we have named layer filters, which we can recall at any time we'd like within the software. And so to get started, we're gonna open up the Layer Properties Manager, which again is found here on the Home tab under the Layers panel and is titled Layer Properties. This will of course open up my Layer Properties Manager, which once again gives me a complete list of all the layers in this drawing. Now in the last video, we used this Search for Layer text box in order to create that quick filter. However, in this video, we're gonna be exploring this new property filter button that we find in the upper left corner of the Layer Properties Manager. By clicking on this, it's gonna open up my Layer Filter Properties dialog box, which resembles in some ways the Layer Properties Manager. The core difference here is that the layer list is actually a filter preview. So by filter preview, this list is going to update, much like our layer list did in my previous video, However, it's going to react to whatever properties I filter out here in the filter definition portion of this dialog box. And so if I wanted to do something similar to that last video where we found all of the pattern or hatch layers in this particular drawing, I create a very similar workflow. First things first, I wanna go ahead and give a name to this layer filter. So I'm gonna call this pattern. From there, I'm gonna come down into the filter definition group of this particular dialog box, and I'm gonna click into the name cell. Now, much like before, I'm gonna use that wildcard character to filter out layers that I do or do not want. And so I want any layer that contains the term or, or code P-A-T-T -T for pattern. So I'm gonna type in the asterisk and then P-A-T-T -T and then star once again. Now, as you can see, as I type that, much like when I created that quick filter in my last video, the filter preview list updates to reflect those changes. Now, as you might recall, I didn't want that floor pattern in this particular layer filter. So what I'm gonna do is go to the beginning here, type in that wildcard asterisk once again, and type in E-L-E-V so that I only find my elevation pattern layers. And while I'm at it, I might go ahead and update this layer name as well. So I'll name this Elevation Pattern, and as you can see, this is only filtering layers whose names include ELEV and PATT. So from here, I can click OK, and that will return me to the Layer Properties Manager. Now you'll notice over here in the left-hand side, I've got a Filters group. Now, if you don't have this particular column, click on this little arrow right here. It will either expand or contract the Layer Filter tree. So by expanding that, I'll get that complete list. And as you can see, among the items in this list is the elevation pattern filter that I just created. So if I wanna get back to the way things were before, I can just click on all, and that once again will give me that complete list of layers in this particular drawing. But if I wanna quickly find just the elevation hatch layers in this drawing, I can click on elevation pattern and find those very quickly. Again, maybe in this case, I wanna select them and thaw them. So again, we can do a lot more with named layer filters than we can the quick filters that we took a look at in the last video. But for now, that's a very good introduction to what we're able to do using named filters inside of AutoCAD. Once again, my name is Donnie Gladfelter from thecadgeek.com. Visit me at thecadgeek.com for many more tips and tricks just like this one.